Tonight we are giving you an all-access tour of SC Comic Con. Thousands of people acted as if they were right there on the pages of a comic book. WIFF News 4's Corey Davis takes us there. The last day of SC Comic Con was supposed to be a slow day. It's a pop culture explosion. Organizers say attendance easily topped 10,000 people over the weekend long event. The TD Convention Center became a place where the pages of comic books came to life, where TV and movie characters were recreated. This is all just some boots and a leotard and some gloves, and I individually glued on each and every single leaf, and it took about 15 hours. And then I made this over here on styrofoam and some other stuff. Adults dressed as their favorite characters, and the little ones got to meet their heroes. I love Batman. That's the best part, is having the little ones come up to you and just scream your name, Batman, or something like that. And you turn around and just take pictures with them, give them, give them a dap, and they... Uh, made their day. The event was hosted by the owner of Borderlands Comics and Games here in Greenville. Nearly 50 volunteers helped put on this event. A lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. And at the end of the day, you see things you wouldn't see anywhere else. You know, little kids getting autographs from their heroes and things like that. It's, it's pretty neat. Dozens of guest artists and writers were featured. Nearly 100 vendors displayed games, toys, and several collections. I bought a hat and we've um, almost explored the whole Place. A place where kids couldn't wait to tell their friends about. I'll say that I had the best day of my life. Corey Davis, WYFF News 4 in Greenville.